Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This is video number 15 in a series describing how to use Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program from Linux Ubuntu. I am going to be showing how to use a feature called Layaways. Layaways is British terminology, I think, for the American resuming a sale and suspending a sale, putting a sale on the back burner, so to speak. This is important in some industries, but not in others. For example, if you've got a restaurant, nobody's going to think three days after you make an invoice and he says, well, I'm going to think about it. But if you're in the car repair industry, as I was, this is the rule rather than the exception. Quite often you will make three or four tentative invoices as the customer thinks it over, modifies it, and finally agrees to it. Or if he says no, then you will delete it. You will have many, many estimates made in that industry. Layaways comes up as an icon up here. But as you see, there is no such icon at the moment. And the way you make it appear is to get rid of this column on the left with this button. And as you remove that, suddenly this thumbtack appears and it's called layaways. The other way you can make it appear is to enlarge the 4x3-ness of the program and turn it into the 16x9-ness of the program. And there you are, your thumbtack appears. The layaways feature is kind of neat. It's automatic. It is used in conjunction with hitting the layaways button, deleting the layaways order, and going to a new one. And it's kind of intuitive, but not too altogether tricky. Now right here, this is an order that you're going to make that is, that is assigned to no particular person whatsoever at all. And what's the name of the customer? No customer yet. So let's pick a customer. And I'm going to look for a customer. And his name is Mr. Taxable. And Mr. Taxable, when I hit OK, appears up here as the customer I am using. And I can lay away an order when I make one. Now Mr. Layaway is coming into my brake shop. Mr. Taxable is and he wants pads and he wants a rotor and he says well let me think about it. And then the second customer comes in. Now I could delete it right now but I'm not. I'm automatically laying it away when I hit new sale. It gets laid away to be resumed later unless I delete it. So I hit new sale and the second customer comes in and I know him really well. His name is John Doe and John Doe comes in and now John Doe he wishes to buy a burger so he gets a burger, a veggie burger on wheat and he says, hmm, let me think about it. That's a lot of money for a burger. And so now your third customer comes in. And his name is John Smith. And John Smith, he's such a good customer that he wants to get both a break job and also a burger. So we're going to put him up for pads, rotor, burger, white, with cheese and mustard. And he says, 49.25. Well, let me think about it. Okay, we are now having all three of those guys on lay away because I just hit put it on the new sale cart. Well, let's go look at them. Here they are. One, two, three. Who was the first one? Well, he's at the bottom. John Doe, the second one, was in the middle. And here's the last one. And also, you can tell by looking at the time. 11.02, 11.04, 11.05. .05. And let us just pop one back up. And uh, John Doe, let's say, returns. And he says, hmm, uh, you know what? I do want to get this thing, but I have changed my mind. I would like to get it on white rather than wheat. So you delete wheat 
and you go white and he says let me buy it and when you buy it he gives you uh, five dollars and you say okay and that's that it's gone so let's just check out what his uh, invoice looked like and sure as shooting it's a burger veggie white easy peasy he's gone he's left he is a happy camper I am now back to my invoices that I had been making and let me go to the uh, orders in order I got rid of the guy who was number two in line but let's go back to Mr. Taxable who was the first fellow here and he comes in and he says you know what I think I want to get two rotors can you do that and you say sure I can and you double it up and he's getting two rotors and he says okay let's pay for it and he is paying for it with a one hundred dollar bill and then you hit OK and he's gone. Let's just look at his order. Shazam! Excellent, excellent. You go up here to sales and who's left? Well, it pops up to the only guy who is hanging in space who is John Smith. And remember, he's the fellow who's getting the brake job with a hamburger. And he says, hmm, I still want to think about it. I'm going to go home. But you know what? I want to go ahead and get the hamburger right now. So actually, you know, you can do that. What you do is you go up here to split sale. But I'm going to leave that for another tutorial. You can have him purchase the hamburger now, pay for it, and leave the pad and rotor for later but I'm going to put that on another tutorial. Mr. Smith is still hanging in space and he's not decided. Meanwhile another customer comes in and he is a new customer and so you're going to add a brand new customer and what is his name? What is your name sir? Uh, my name is I'm going to give her an account ID and she is going to be three and her name is Maggie Smith and she is taxable and I'm going to say alrighty then and I'm going to go back to the sales screen and I'm going to go new and I'm going to select Maggie Smith and here she is and you can see her up in the corner there and she's going to get a hamburger, veggie, wheat Uh, what is she going to get? Drink and fries. But she's thinking about it. So I put her on the back burner. And here's Maggie Smith. Now notice I had a couple of them inadvertently hanging in space. So which one was this? Nothing. So I can delete it. You sure you want to? Yes. And let's go look at a uh, the ones hanging in space. Which was this one? Oops, I think I, I think, uh, no, this is John Smith right here. I'm going to go to this one, delete it. Yes. You have to be careful who you're deleting and so forth. Where are my layaways? Here's Maggie Smith. This is the one that I can get rid of. It's got nothing on it. Now all I have left is John Smith and Maggie Smith. And so it's, it's fairly intuitive. If the name is up here and you want to keep it, do not put it in the trash can. Go ahead and just hit new. 
Well, that's pretty much all I have in this one about how to suspend and resume orders using the layaway feature. My name is Pop and this is Ubuntu Basics and I am talking about Unicenta, the point of sale program, and I thank you very much.